so this whole day is going to be a tough one. If you have not heard this morning, we're saying goodbye to Toronto today. So we're asking you to share your goodbyes. Use the hashtag goodbye Toronto. We already have quite a few in this Really, morning. really wonderful um, ones, just too. Just people with some great memories of your time yeah. here in Colorado. But after 11 years at 9 News, she's heading to Philly. And while she was packing, I spent the week <laughs> looking back at her career that I've looked up to since the day I walked through the door. Friends have a knack for coming into our lives when we least expect them and for appearing right when we need them. Colorado met one of those friends in July of 2007. That's right, Bozzi, a bridge inspection team spent a couple hours out here looking at this overpass, really trying to make sure it was structurally sound. That's one of Toronto's first live reports, talking about bridge safety in light of a highway bridge collapse in Minnesota. And while that may sound a little bit scary, the chief bridge engineer says no one should feel afraid when they're driving over Colorado bridges. That live shot really says a lot about the reporter. She was calm, reassuring, professional. And most of all, she was human with a sense of compassion, a caring spirit that carried her through the next 11 years. More than a decade of impactful stories, like the recent series she did on people recovering from addiction. Most of you at home don't know this, but the phone would not stop ringing here after those stories here. People who needed help found it because of a compassionate reporter's idea that let them know they aren't alone. Because of this, you know, life of sobriety we live now, we have to help each other. She showcased the culture of Denver's neighborhoods. For as much as Five Points has changed, neighborhood natives don't want this to change. Culture that's threatened as our city continues to sprawl and grow. Tarana has opened her heart to all of us. After all, her heart really is her family. I know I'll never think of Memorial Day the same way after Tarana shared the story of her brother who died serving our country and shared a plea to look beyond the barbecues and mattress sales and remember the reason most of us get the day off. And I have to admit, even I didn't realize that until I found out in the most difficult way. It's me, Ruby D. I'm not in kindergarten. I'm in first grade. And Toronto's family warmed our hearts as well, especially your daughter, junior reporter Ruby D. She always got to the bottom of the story, which shouldn't surprise us. After all, she was coached by the best. Have you ever lost a grown up tooth on the sheep? No. Toronto is super mom, by the way. I've never seen the cape. But I have all the evidence I need, watching her juggle a job that gets her up at 2 a.m. and still getting to almost every function her kids have. Many are the mornings that her voice is a bit hoarse from screaming her lungs out at a soccer or basketball game. But what I'll miss the most about the person who sat beside me every weekend for the better part of a year and a half is the way she makes me laugh, both on air and off the air. I'll be playing the role of Toronto. And tonight. I'll be playing the role of Steve. Okay. Let me just get into character. Oh, my tooth. Bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> People always ask me okay. if we're really as close as we seem to be. We are, which may surprise some people. Oh, look at the name officially, Wooly Chaps. <laughs> <laughs> which was my nickname for a long time. <laughs> After all, Toronto and I never knew each other that well before we got paired up. We worked opposite shifts. I'm feeling just a little bit teary-eyed right now. <laughs> just a little bit. But that's the thing about friends. It's left, left, right, cross, yep, back. back. Yep, step. Together, yeah, left, mm, right. Mm, 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 mm. They have a knack for coming into our lives when we so least expect you know. them. Okay, Steve, on to the next ride. All right. And they always appear right when you need them. That was amazing. I didn't even know you were working on that. That was incredible. I, okay. I, okay. <laughs> Let's get it together. Uh, um, hashtag goodbye Toronto yes. is what we're asking you to send your notes and feedback to. It's so. been incredible to see that so far and to over the past week get so many emails and phone messages and even letters, good old fashioned yeah. letters from people saying what I've brought to their lives, but more importantly, I don't think you know what you've brought to my life. Um, a sense of purpose, um, a mission, and a feeling like I, I was here and I came here to do something. I feel like I did it. And I'm so honored that you welcomed me into your homes for 11 years. It's been amazing. And I'm going to Philadelphia, but I'll have Colorado with me always, always. always. You will. Yeah. You will, because we'll all be with you. 
Yes. I'm not letting you go. I might start <laughs> pulling some of you to Philadelphia <laughs> with me. But I, it's, I, again, I've worked so many places, and there is no place like Nine News, and there is no state like Colorado. Yeah. I love the, the story of your friendship and having worked, to, <laughs> you know, at the same place for years, and then to come together in the last year and a half. I mean, how lucky and how special to get that time together at these early mornings on <laughs> days when most people have off. You guys got this amazing friendship. Yeah. It's so it wonderful. It's fun. Awesome. Like it's, it was fun to like come in and be like, <laughs> yeah. oh, these two like Well you oh. joined you joined <laughs> in on it pretty quickly. Yeah. You got to be part of the You're friendship like, yes. right away. Yeah. <laughs> and so it's just it's been a lot of fun and we are getting some really heartfelt things from people. Um, someone says, you will truly be missed. You have been one of the many strong examples of amazing African American women my mm -hmm. daughters look up to. You are a light to all of us. God bless you and your family. Um, Mar says good luck Taronda. You'll be missed. Uh, Reverend Ashton says, this is one mountain dwelling New Orleanian <laughs> who's definitely going to miss Toronto Thomas. Louisiana style here in Colorado, may you and your family know nothing but blessings. We have a lot more of this coming up. <laughs> We shouldn't have done this oh now because now we're going to have trouble <laughs> getting through the rest of the show. My eyelashes are going to be falling off. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll the still story. be just as gorgeous. <laughs> you should have heard me in the newsroom the other day when we did a little goodbye th for you in the newsroom. You're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right.